I had an uncle that farmed a couple thousand acres of dry land wheat in the Palouse country of Washington state. And on a visit to their farm when I was nine years old, uh, Uncle Bill took me for my first airplane ride in a little Piper Tri-Pacer that he owned and had hangered right on his farm property. And I never did come down from that flight. Uh, at that point, I knew aviation was going to be a part of my life somehow. My name's Eric Lewis. I'm 71 years old. I've been crop dusting since 1976. I've flown for the last 10 years here in Mud Lake for a company called Desert Air Ag, owned by Leif Isaacson, who just retired this January. The company was purchased two years ago by Heinen Brothers Ag from Seneca, Kansas. Uh, they own a number of crop dusting businesses around the country. It's an incredible place to work. The quality of the aircraft, the co-workers that I'm lucky enough to work with, and the beautiful scenery of Idaho really makes this a, a great place to live and work, and I enjoy it a lot. I got discharged from the Army during the Vietnam era. I had my GI benefits to take advantage of and I decided to pursue a career in aviation and went to community college and got my commercial pilot's license and then uh, actually wound up going to work part-time while I was in college for a crop duster by the name of Bill Stout in Ephrata, Washington and I mixed and loaded chemicals for him and Watching him come and go in this uh, airplane that looked like a World War II fighter with an actual World War II era radial engine on the front, it kind of got into my blood and I decided that's what I wanted to do for a living. crops that we treat are barley, uh, used for malt, malt barley, uh, potatoes of course, Idaho is famous for potatoes, and alfalfa. Uh, we spray a little bit of corn, but our, those are our primary crops. And then lately we've been doing a lot of uh, applications in what's called CRP. It's rangeland where we're using selective herbicides to kill things like cheatgrass in native grass areas that farmers use to forage their cattle. That can be really challenging because you, unlike 
regular irrigated farmland where you have rows to follow across a field or roadways or power lines kind of help give you reference. Out in the rangeland areas, there's just nothing but miles and miles of grass, no roads, power lines. The challenging part of it is that a lot of times the terrain is really uneven. Sometimes you're uh, maybe climbing up a 20 degree slope toward the top of a ridge and then peeking across the ridge and dropping into a valley a thousand feet, having to make engine power adjustments as you're going down and then again as you're going up, trying to stay on track with your GPS and avoid running into terrain at the same time uh, makes it really challenging. I've, I've never seen that type of flying done anywhere in the country before, but uh, I think it's particularly challenging here in Idaho because we have such, such mountainous terrain. excited about getting in an airplane today as I was as a nine-year-old. It's been a good career. I've really enjoyed it.